Hey, this is Adam from Ads Productions, and if you've ever wanted to know how to track text to anything, in this example my finger, then this is the video for you. This is actually quite easy to do, and it shouldn't take too long to explain, so let's get going. First off, go ahead and import your video clip that you want to use as the background for the text. This is usually the clip with the moving part, in this example it's my finger. Now add this video clip to the timeline and remove the audio track just to make things a little bit easier for yourself. Now insert a new video track above the clip you've just added to the timeline. At this stage I normally like to cut down the video clips to get rid of any distortion or camera shake that you've probably just seen in a previous clip. This is to make a more smoother looking video file. The top video track that we've inserted is where you're going to need to add your text that you want to move around with the finger or any object. So navigate to the top layer and right click to insert text media. Once you've specified the text to add, exit out of this window and you'll notice the text has been added. Once you've added the text, you're going to want to drag it to be the same size as your video clip. On the left side of the top layer, you will see a small square with an arrow in it with the label track motion. This is the button you need to press to get to the next window that we're going to need to use. Once you're here, be sure to click the sync cursor button if you want to be able to view the changes in the preview window as we make them. And now we're ready to begin the boring process of tracking. As we move this rectangle around in the track motion canvas, you will see that the text moves in the preview window. We now have to go through frame by frame to move the position of the text in accordance to the finger. In the timeline of the track motion window, you may notice a small diamond shape. This is at the start. These are basically the checkpoints of time, so that when the clip reaches a certain time period, your changes will be applied. This gives the appearance of the text moving or being animated, when in actual fact, you're just changing the coordinates over a period of time. So now I'm going to fast forward this process so that you can see that it gives the illusion that the text is being tracked to the background object. When you come to do this yourself, you'll want to spend a lot more time being precise with your marker placements to give you a more polished outcome, as opposed to my rushed example. I do hope this video helped in your learning process with Sony Vegas. If you've got any questions, feel free to leave a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. This has been Adam from Ads Productions with another Sony Vegas tutorial. Thanks for watching.